Yo, what is going on YouTube? Battletech here with another video. And yes, as you can already tell by what's on my screen, we're going to be taking a quick look at the new Alienware Alpha. Um, this was just uh, announced, uh, I think, yesterday at uh, E3. And uh, yeah, I was pretty surprised. Um, I wasn't expecting the new revision of the Alpha just yet, but I'm glad that they did because uh, there are some problems with the original Alienware Alpha um, that seem to be worked out, um, at least to some degree, have been worked out in this new revision of the Alienware Alpha. So I'm going to go over some of those things with you guys real quick. I'm not going to get, well, I'm going to try not to get too um, deep and involved in this video. I'm just going to really quick brush over some of the things that I know about it and some of the reasons why I'm excited about this new Alienware Alpha. So, all right, so first of all, as you can tell, there has been no external design changes. Pretty much everything that has changed is going to be on the inside. And I'm mainly going to be talking about the Big Daddy Alpha, which is uh, 949. I'm going to see if I can get my job to go ahead and foot the bill and get me another Alienware Alpha like they did last year or the year before that I think that was. But yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get another one of those in my hand and if I can, um, within the next few weeks or so, then I'll bring you guys an unboxing and kind of do it the same way I did the uh, original Alienware Alpha. So if you're interested in that, you know, stick around for that. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, go ahead and make sure you hit that uh, notification thing, too, so you're notified every time I post a video, too. So, moving right along, uh, they've bumped up to the 6th generation Intel Core i7 6700T. That's a base clock of 2.8 gigahertz, I believe, with a boost of 3.4 or 3.6. So, it's a pretty uh, beefy CPU that they've included this time around. Also, they've gone ahead and upgraded the RAM to DDR4, so you can clearly you can upgrade that. Um, most notab noticeably, um, they have gone ahead and ditched the funny little 750Ti slash 860M of the original for a full desktop GTX 960 GPU. Or if you want, they've also included the AMD. R9M 470X if that's what you you know like if that's you know more your budget or you're just an AMD guy then you know you got that option there but that only comes with the 2 gig VRAM buffer where on the GTX 960 as you can see you get 4 gigs of GDDR5 uh, let's see oh yeah um, something that they don't show on here but um, was a major complaint um, with the last one is the fact that you could only have one SATA device, basically one hard drive. Now they've gone ahead and included two SATA ports. So now you can have a solid state drive to boot from and you can have like a two terabyte drive to store all of your games. So that's a huge plus, huge plus. Good looking out Alienware for doing that. Um, Let's see, I don't see it in here if I'm just scrolling too fast. Yes, this is the biggest thing here. Actually, let's let's go down here because they got a pretty cool um, port comparison between the first revision and the second revision. So I'll work off this. So this is what I had, which was the R1, and it featured two USB 2 ports in the front, two USB 3, Ethernet, TOS link, HDMI in, out, and the power. Now they give you two more USB 3s in the front, which make a lot more sense, as well as two more in the back. Still have your toss link, your network, your HDMI in, out, your power, but they also give you the Alienware graphics amplifier port on this bad boy. So if you're willing to spend an extra $200, you can then expand the graphics capability of the Alienware Alpha to you know all the way up to a GTX 1080 or uh, what's that the um, RX 480 if you want to so 
that is going to be very very huge I mean and 200 bucks for an external graphics card housing that's 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 really a steal um, actually you know what I did make a mistake actually um, I, I think that the graphics amplifier only works with Nvidia cards on the second revision of the Alienware Alpha but I have to get more clarification on that and see what the deal is about that but um, even without the graphics amplifier, the, the 960 completely kills the 750Ti slash 860M that they included in the original Alpha. As you can see here from this chart, um, they have a couple of benchmarks. Um, you know, sure, they're straight from Alienware, but I'm pretty positive that the desktop GTX 960 with 4 gigs of RAM is definitely going to be able to outperform the uh, original two gigabyte GPU that they included with the first alpha. So that's not going to be an issue. So what do you guys think? Um, you know, do you think that they're moving in the right direction with this um, Alienware alpha? Or do you guys think that this is still a, um, a product without a demographic? Because I see a lot of people ask the question like, who is the Alienware alpha for? Um, so, you know, let me know your guys' thoughts and um, concerns and things like that. Leave them down below in the comment section. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. And make sure you keep checking my channel. Hopefully, I get one of these things in my hand so we can take a closer look and I can do a lot more performance videos and things like that like I used to do. And, um, yeah, man, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. So, as always, less trolling, more gaming. Keep it locked right here to Battletech HD Gaming.